welcome to exams daily and in this video i am going to share you ssc je syllabus and exam pattern in our channel we had already uploaded ssc chsl cgl mts syllabus and exam pattern if you don't see that i am just giving that link in description box you can go through that for your reference and in this video i am just going to share you ssc junior engineer syllabus and exam pattern so and this uh, exam pattern comprises of paper 1 and paper 2 for paper 1 and paper 2 you must uh, deeply give importance to your stream subject so that is important for this junior engineer examination and this is the exam pattern for paper 1 examination so and the first topic uh, first subject is general intelligence and reasoning and then general awareness and then next it consists of three part of papers for part a for civil and structural engineering the questions are from uh, general engineering and for part b for electrical and part c for mechanical engineering so you if you are a diploma the questions are based on your diploma subjects and if you are engineering the questions are based on your engineering subject streams so general intelligence and reasoning for 50 marks and for general awareness it's 250 marks and for these uh, subject papers uh, there is 100 marks uh, questions so totally you are going to write this examination for 200 marks and time duration for this examination is 2 hours you are going to write this paper for 2 hours so once you have completed paper 1 examination uh, if you had qualified this exam with minimum qualification marks you are eligible to write paper 2 examination and paper 2 is full and fully based on your subjects only so you are going to choose your uh, subject for this examination uh, like part A or part B or part C. So if you are part A, uh, civil or structural engineering, you are going to write uh, according to your subject. And for part B, general engineering, electrical and part C is for mechanical general uh, uh, questions on general engineering. So and totally you are going to write this examination for 300 marks and time duration for this is 2 to 2 hours. So and then that's the exam pattern for uh, junior engineer paper 1 and paper 2. So the mainly you want to give concentration to your particular subject for this examination. So for paper 1 the detailed syllabus. So for general intelligence and reasoning the topics are analogies, similarities, differences, space visualization, problem solving, analysis, judgment, decision making, visual memory, and then discrimination, observation, relationship concepts, arithmetical reasoning, verbal and figure classification and then arithmetical number series. And these are the topics for uh, general intelligence and reasoning. So for this you want to daily solve and work out problems regularly and that's the thing for general intelligence and reasoning. And then next general awareness. So you want to give importance to current affairs news and these are the topics for general awareness so like uh, history culture geography economic science and then general quality and scientific research and these are the topics for general awareness and then next for general engineering uh, civil and structural electrical and mechanical uh, engineering so the detailed syllabus are for uh, civil engineering and these are the topics for uh, civil engineering the first one is building materials estimation costing and valuation surveying soil mechanics hydraulics irrigation engineering transportation engineering and then environmental engineering and for structural engineering the topics are theory of structures concrete technology rcc design and then steel design so that's it for uh, civil engineering and for electrical engineering that is basic concept so basic concept of resist resistors capacitors um, and insulators, semiconductors, so, so basic things about uh, electrical components and then next uh, circuit law and magnetic circuit, AC fundamentals, measurement and measuring instruments, electrical machines, fractional kilowatt motors and single phase induction motors and then synchronous machines, generation, transmission and distribution and then estimation and casting, utilization and electrical energy and then basics electronics and this is for electrical engineering and then it is for mechanical engineering the first topic is theory of machines and machine design engineering mechanics and strength of materials and then properties of pure substances and next uh, first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics and then gas standard cycles for ic engines 
and then IC engine performance and then IC engine cooling and lubrication and next rank time cycle of system and IC engines combustion and boilers, classification, specification and then fitting and accessories. So on next uh, air compression and their cycles and then refrigeration cycles and then principle of refrigeration plant and then nozzles and steam turbines and next properties and classification of fluids and fluid statics measurement of fluid pressure and fluid kinematics dynamics of ideal fluids measurement of flow rate basic principles hydraulic turbines centrifugal pumps and then classification of steel and these are the topics for mechanical engineering once you have completed uh, your paper one of examination with minimum qualification marks you are eligible to write paper two of examination and this paper two examination you want to give importance to your subject stream so this this paper comprises of questions from your subjects only so i'm just going to share you detailed syllabus for paper two examination so first of all uh, the syllabus are uh, building materials estimation casting and valuation Surveying, Soil Mechanics, Hydraulics, Irrigation Engineering, Transportation Engineering and Environmental Engineering. So maybe part 1, paper 1 and paper 2 syllabus are looking like same. But the difference is uh, while writing examination, uh, the level of question may vary. So if, if they ask questions like uh, what is resistor, what is capacitor in paper 1 examination. And for paper 2, they will give a value to resistor and capacitor and they tell you to calculate the value and answer it. So like that question. So maybe the toughness of the question varies uh, for paper 1 and paper 2. But the syllabus are same. But you give importance to your subject stream for this junior engineer examination. So and then structural engineering syllabus, theory of structures, concrete technology, RCC design and steel design. So on the next electrical syllabus, basic concept, circuit law, magnetic circuit, AC fundamentals, measurement and measuring instruments, uh, electrical machines, fractional kilowatt motors and single phase induction motors and then synchronous machine and then generation, transmission and distribution and then estimation and costing utilization and electrical engineering and then basics electronics. And that's it for electrical uh, syllabus. And for mechanical engineering, theory of machines and machine design, engineering mechanics and strength of materials, properties of few substances, and then first law of thermodynamics, and second law of thermodynamics, and air standard cycles for IC engines, and then IC engines performance. And next IC engine cooling and lubrication, and then ranking cycle of system, IC engines combustion, boilers, classification, specification, fitting and accessories, air compressor and the cycles and then refrigeration cycles principle of refrigeration plant and nozzle and steam turbines properties of classification of fluids fluid statics and measurement of fluid pressure fluid kinematics and dynamics of ideal fluids and measurement of flow rate basic principles hydraulic turbines centrifugal pumps and classification of steels and these are the topics that comes under mechanical engineering and that's it for paper 2 and I'm just going to tell you some preparation tips and tricks. So for this, you want to uh, prepare a steady plan first. So steady plan is important thing for any examination. So schedule your steady plan. And then next, go through basic concepts first. So basic concept is the important thing. So and then next, go to your uh, toughest subjects or your uh, unknown subjects. Uh, later, uh, you learn basic concepts. And then for um, and this examination questions are only in English language. So you want to uh, only in English or Hindi. But uh, for English uh, improvement, so you want to go through daily English newspapers. So if you read newspapers daily, you will get improved in your English language. And then for reasoning, you want to daily solve more and more problems. And for general awareness, daily read newspapers and current affairs. And in our channel, we are already providing current affairs on daily basis. So you can go through that too and, and attend more and more mock tests. So for first paper, you are going to write examination via online mode. So computer based test. So you must uh, need to uh, attend more and more mock tests to solve this paper and also uh, give importance to previous year question paper. So if you see uh, how much you see previous year paper. You will get more and more idea about this examination. So previous year question paper is very important. 
and then try to solve as your own and check your performance regularly and and that's the thing for this examination and that's it and if you are watching our channel for first time don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification instantly and thanks for watching